nice question, find a tough to solve a cubic equation, find a, somehow if you can knock it open and then factorize it, then it becomes far simpler, find so how do we factorize it, x cube minus 5x square plus 8x minus 4, x cube minus 5x square plus 8x minus 4, the oldest trick in the book is to say hey nice, add all the coefficients, 1 minus 5 plus 8 minus 4, 1 minus 5 plus 8 minus 4, 1 plus 8 is 9, minus 5 minus 4 is 9, sum of all coefficients is 0 or if I call this p of x, then p of 1 equals 0 or x minus 1 is a factor of brilliant, we are through, if x minus 1 is a factor of that number, then what do we do, we can factorize it further see what the remaining part is and deal with the quadratic separately. So I say x cube minus 5x square plus 8x minus 4 divided by x minus 1. There is an x square that will go here. x cube minus x square becomes subtract this will become plus minus 4x square plus 8x minus 4x minus 4x square plus 4x, 4x minus 4, plus 4, 4x minus 4, lovely, or x square minus 4x plus 4 is x minus 2 whole square, or our expression, x cube minus 5x square plus 8x minus 4 is x minus 1 into x minus 2 whole square, and so x minus 1 into x minus 2 whole square greater than 0 is what you are looking to solve. x minus 2 whole square is always positive. So, x should not be 2. This question is now becomes x minus 1 greater than 0, keeping in mind that x not equal to 2. x minus 2 whole square is greater than or equal to 0. If x were not 2, this is positive x minus 1 into a positive number greater than 0, I think this should be positive. So, x not equal to 2, x minus 1 greater than 0 or x is greater than 1 under the condition x is not equal to 2. A choice like that, greater than 1, not this, not this, not this, this one. 1 to infinity except 2, greater than 1 without keeping, without using the 2 value. 1 to 2, 2 to infinity. Every value greater than 1 except 2 or 1 to 2, 2 to infinity not counting 2. Open interval 1, open interval 2 and then open interval 2, open interval infinity. So, it is 1 to infinity except 2. So, another way of writing that down is what we are looking for. If you are given a cubic, factorizing it is a good starting point. When you are looking to factorize a cubic, understanding, remembering this rule, p of x by x minus a Reminder is equal to P of A. Polynomial reminder theorem is super powerful because all we got to do is substitute P of 1, P of 2, P of minus 1, P of minus 2. If one of them clicks and then takes our P of 2 or minus 1 or 1, if it goes to 0, then I find one factor. If I find one factor, I divide by it, I will get a quadratic expression. Take the quadratic expression and factorize it or complete the square, do something with it. If I find one factor, the cubic gets unlocked. Using this rule to look for that one factor. Very powerful.